A block wave also called block state or block function or block wave function, named after Swiss physicist Felix Bloch, is a type of wave function for a particle in a periodically repeating environment, most commonly an electron in a crystal. A wave function ψ is a block wave if it has the form ψ r equals e i k r u r Display style psi math bf r equals mathrm e caret mathrm i math bf k c d o t math bf r u math bf r, where r is position, psi is the block wave, u is a periodic function with the same periodicity as the crystal, k is a vector of real numbers called the crystal wave vector, e is Euler's number, and i is the imaginary unit. In other words, if we multiply a plane wave by a periodic function, we get a block wave. Block waves are important because of Bloch's theorem, which states that the energy eigenstates for an electron in a crystal can be written as block waves. More precisely, it states that the electron wave functions in a crystal have a basis consisting entirely of block wave energy eigenstates. This fact underlies the concept of electronic band structures. These block wave energy eigenstates are written with subscripts as psi and k, where n is a discrete index, called the band index, which is present because there are many different block waves with the same k, each has a different periodic component u. Within a band, i.e., for fixed n, psi and k varies continuously with k, as does its energy. Also, for any reciprocal lattice vector k, psi and k equals psi n, k plus k. Therefore, all distinct block waves occur for k values within the first Brillouin zone of the reciprocal lattice. Equals. Topic: Applications and consequences. Equals. 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 Topic: Applicability. Equals equals the most common example of Bloch's theorem is describing electrons in a crystal. However, a block wave description applies more generally to any wave-like phenomenon in a periodic medium. For example, a periodic dielectric in electromagnetism leads to photonic crystals, and a periodic acoustic medium leads to phononic crystals. It is generally treated in the various forms of the dynamical theory of diffraction. Equals equals Topic. Meaning and non-uniqueness of the parameter k Suppose an electron is in a block state psi r equals e i k r u r Display style psi math bf r equals mathrm e caret mathrm i math bf k c d o t math bf r u math bf r, where u is periodic with the same periodicity as the crystal lattice. The actual quantum state of the electron is entirely determined by psi, not k or u directly. This is important because k and u are not unique. Specifically, if ψ can be written as above using k, it can also be written using k plus k, where k is any reciprocal lattice vector see figure at right. Therefore, wave vectors that differ by a reciprocal lattice vector are equivalent, in the sense that they characterize the same set of block states. The first Brillouin zone is a restricted set of values of k with the property that no two of them are equivalent, yet every possible k is equivalent to one and only one vector in the first Brillouin zone. Therefore, if we restrict k to the first Brillouin zone, then every block state has a unique k. Therefore, the first Brillouin zone is often used to depict all of the block states without redundancy, for example in a band structure, and it is used for the same reason in many calculations. When k is multiplied by the reduced Planck's constant, it equals the electron's crystal momentum. Related to this, the group velocity of an electron can be calculated based on how the energy of a block state varies with k. For more details see crystal momentum. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Detailed example. 
For a detailed example in which the consequences of Bloch's theorem are worked out in a specific situation, see the article, Particle in a One-Dimensional Lattice periodic potential. <laughs> Proof of Bloch's theorem Next, we prove Bloch's theorem. For electrons in a perfect crystal, there is a basis of wave functions with the properties. Each of these wave functions is an energy eigenstate. Each of these wave functions is a Bloch wave, meaning that this wave function psi display style psi can be written in the form psi r equals e i k r u r display style psi math bf r equals mathrm e caret mathrm i math bf k c d o t math bf r u math bf r where u has the same periodicity as the atomic structure of the crystal topic preliminaries crystal symmetries lattice and reciprocal lattice The defining property of a crystal is translational symmetry, which means that if the crystal is shifted an appropriate amount, it winds up with all its atoms in the same places. A finite size crystal cannot have perfect translational symmetry, but it is a useful approximation. A three dimensional crystal has three primitive lattice vectors A1, A2, A3. If the crystal is shifted by any of these three vectors, or a combination of them of the form N 1 a one plus n two a two plus n three a three display style n underscore one math bf underscore one plus n underscore two math bf underscore two plus n underscore three math bf underscore three where ni are three integers, then the atoms end up in the same set of locations as they started. Another helpful ingredient in the proof is the reciprocal lattice vectors. These are three vectors b1, b2, b3 with units of inverse length, with the property that I buy. <laughs> 2 pi, but I b j 0 when i does not equal j, for the formula for by, see reciprocal lattice vector. <laughs> Lemma about translation operators Let t caret n 1 n 2 n 3 Display style hat t underscore n underscore one n underscore two n underscore three denote a translation operator that shifts every wave function by the amount n one a one plus n two a two plus n three a three as above n j are integers. The following fact is helpful for the proof of Bloch's theorem. Lemma: If a wave function psi is an eigenstate of all of the translation operators simultaneously, then psi is a Bloch wave. Proof: Assume that we have a wave function psi which is an eigenstate of all the translation operators. As a special case of this, psi r plus a j equals c j psi r. Display style psi math bf r plus math bf a underscore j equals c underscore j psi math bf r for j. Topic one two three where c j are three numbers the eigenvalues which do not depend on r. It is helpful to write the numbers c j in a different form by choosing three numbers theta one, theta two, theta three with e two pi i theta j. C j psi r plus a j equals e two pi i theta 
J psi R Display style psi math BF R plus math BF a underscore J equals mathem E carrot two pi mathem I theta underscore J psi math BF R Again, the theta j are three numbers which do not depend on r. Define k equals theta one b one plus theta two b two plus theta three b three, where b j are the reciprocal lattice vectors. See above. Finally, define u r equals e minus i k r psi r Display style u math bf r equals mathrm e caret mathrm i math bf k c d o t math bf r psi math bf r. Then u r plus a j equals e minus i k r plus a j psi r plus a j equals e minus i k r e minus i k a j e two pi I theta j psi r equals e minus i k r e minus two pi i theta j e two pi i Theta J Psi R equals U R Display style U Math BF R plus Math BF a underscore J equals Mathem E carrot Mathem I Math BF K C D O T Math BF R plus Math BF a underscore J Psi Math BF R plus Math BF a underscore J equals Big Mathem E carrot Mathem I Math BF K C D O T Math BF R Mathem E carrot Mathem I Math BF K C D O T Math BF a underscore J big big mathem e carrot two pi mathem i theta underscore j psi math bf r big equals mathem e carrot mathem i math bf k c d o t math bf r mathem e carrot minus two pi mathem i theta underscore j mathem e carrot two pi mathem i theta underscore j psi math bf r equals u math bf r. This proves that u has the periodicity of the lattice. Since psi r equals a k ru r, that proves that the state is a block wave. Equals. Topic proof. Equals. Finally, we are ready for the main proof of Bloch's theorem. As above, let t caret n one n two n 3 display style hat t underscore n underscore 1 n underscore 2 n underscore 3 denote a translation operator that shifts every wave function by the amount n1 a1 plus n2 a2 plus n3 a3 where ni are integers because the crystal has translational symmetry this operator commutes with the hamiltonian operator moreover every such translation operator commutes with every other Therefore, there is a simultaneous eigenbasis of the Hamiltonian operator and every possible t caret n one n two n three display style hat t underscore n underscore one n underscore two n underscore three operator. This basis is what we are looking for. 
The wave functions in this basis are energy eigenstates because they are eigenstates of the Hamiltonian, and they are also block waves because they are eigenstates of the translation operators, see lemma above. History and related equations The concept of the Bloch state was developed by Felix Bloch in 1928, to describe the conduction of electrons in crystalline solids. The same underlying mathematics, however, was also discovered independently several times, by George William Hill 1877, Gaston Floquet 1883, and Alexander Lepinov 1892. As a result, a variety of nomenclatures are common, applied to ordinary differential equations, it is called Floquet theory or occasionally the Lepinov-Floquet theorem. The general form of a one-dimensional periodic potential equation is Hill's equation d 2 y d t 2 plus f t y equals Zero. Display style frac d caret two y dt caret two plus f t y equals zero, where f t is a periodic potential. Specific periodic one-dimensional equations include the Kronig-Penny model and Mathieu's equation. Mathematically, Bloch's theorem is interpreted in terms of unitary characters of a lattice group and is applied to spectral geometry. Equals equals see also.